Hi, this is Kristen Wojan from Maryland Double Deckers, and you're watching Good Morning Frederick. Oh, good morning, Frederick. Today is Wednesday, September 18th. I'm your host, Danny Gurry. Oh, my goodness. Very dark outside. It is rainy. I mean, I guess it has to happen. We're getting into that time of year. I'm so sorry for the Frederick Fair, though. A uh, little sprinkly last evening for carload night, but hopefully you were able to get out to the fair and enjoy. And today's a big day at the fair. We're going to celebrate Bob Miller, and Chris and I will talk about that later. But let's give you a little rundown of the show today. Uh, of course, Chris Michaels will join us from WFMD's Morning News Express to get your local news, weather, and sports. Also going to talk about, of course, what's happening in Frederick. There's always something good happening. We're going to go over the calendar for the rest of this week and this weekend, plus some dates you're going to want to keep on your calendar. Keep in mind because they're coming up soon. Uh, today, I interview Gary Bent. I put Gare. Gare Bennett. It's Gary Bennett. Uh, my typo this morning. Canines on the Creek. We're going to be talking about that. If you've got a four-legged friend, you can enter them. And you know what? Did you know you could go to Frederick County Animal Control and borrow a dog for a day? What a great... I should have thought about this sooner. What a great way to take a dog out to enjoy a day on Carroll Creek, canines on the creek. You get to help the FSK Lions Club. You get to help a local shelter pup get out of the shelter for the day. Oh my gosh, this is a great idea. I'm really going to push it. I'm really going to push it that we can get as many of the dogs out of the shelter to canines on the creek as possible. I think we can do it. Also, I have a very touching story an interview with Edwin and Dara and Nicole Flores and Dara, uh, father and daughter. And uh, they are here to talk about Edwin's need to find a kidney. Um, and, um, you know, if you are so, if you can and you want to donate, uh, you can save a life. And uh, we're going to talk about that um, this, after, uh, this morning as well. So, there you go. That's what's happening today. And of course, we've got our total for Christmas cash for kids. That is the uh, merch sold. Good morning, Frederick merch that is sold at the shop 401 North Market Street. The home of everything Frederick is open Thursdays to Sundays. When you purchase your merch from the shop for Good Morning Frederick, I donate the proceeds to Christmas cash for kids right now. 
uh, now through December. So, so far, August, there was $88 put in the coffers for Christmas cash for kids. And we'll see uh, how we do um, at the end of this month for September and so on. I've just ordered, oh my gosh, you guys are going to love the winter long sleeve t-shirts that were designed by Hannah at Special Tees. I've got um, fleece, some fleece coming in, and we've got some adorable Christmas ornaments. So if you want to send somebody a gift with Frederick on it, oh my God, you're going to love these. They're an ugly sweater Christmas ornament. They are so adorable. And I've also got a couple beanies that I've just ordered, just regular kind of knit caps with Good Morning Frederick embroidered on them as well. So I'll have all of that available at the Good Morning, uh, at the home of everything, Frederick. Um, coming up very soon, we'll have a lot of long sleeves. But I still have some of these. We got the uh, short sleeve V-necks and crew necks and in, in this color and in gray. I've got a few large and extra large of the OG light gray T-shirts and a few tank tops, I think, left as well. Of course, we've also got the tumblers the stickers and the magnet. So if you just want a magnet, five bucks, stickers, $3, please come in and get one. And of course, all the proceeds benefit Christmas cash for kids, which we love. I can't wait to get involved with that more this year. Um, and it's going to be great. All right. Subscribe to YouTube. We are well on our way to a thousand subscribers. Hopefully we'll get there by the end of this month. Did you know we have over a thousand videos posted on our YouTube channel? This is all since April 1st. You know, and I not only post the full one hour shows from every day, but each segment is also posted separately. So if you saw an interview with someone that you thought, oh my gosh, I got to get back and find it. You don't have to go through the one hour show and try to figure out what day I interviewed them and scroll through and all that stuff. If you simply go to our YouTube channel and underneath where it says everything Frederick live, there is a search bar, not the one at the top of the page, but the one in the middle of the page. If you search there, it's just searching our channel and you can find an interview that you may have liked. All right. Please ask a friend or two to subscribe. That's all we need to do to get to our 1,000 subscribers. And we need that. YouTube only likes people who have over 1,000 subscribers. And of course, they also love a lot of likes and comments and shares and all that good stuff as well. So that is the thing that you can do when people ask, what can we do to help you? Sharing, commenting. I know it sounds mundane. I know it sounds contrite, but it is not. It is uh, imperative to show engagement uh, for, is contrite a word or is it just trite? I'm going to have to look that up now. I, I said it and now I'm not quite so sure. But anyway, I know you guys will tell me. Uh, anyway, if you're wondering what this show is about, maybe you're new here. Maybe you're, you've just been scrolling and this popped up. Welcome to Good Morning Frederick. This show is all about you and our great county, and uh, we do have a great county. It kind of reminds you of all the awesome things uh, that make this county great. So it's about the people, the community, and what is happening in Frederick. All right, don't forget about the podcast. We've got that too. You can listen in the car on Spotify, Amazon Music, iHeart, and other platforms. Also, in starting this show in April, one of the big passions, my passion projects, is to give back as much as possible, as much as I can humanly do, uh, not only on my own, but with your help. Uh, we like to give back. So, of course, the merch uh, proceeds are going to Christmas Cash for Kids. However, we are also right now through the end of the month donating to Sleep in Heavenly Peace. Sleep in Heavenly Peace uh, builds beds for kids, so no kid in Frederick County sleeps on the floor. They had a huge bed build uh, this past Saturday. I have to catch up with them and find out how they did. They had 30 applications uh, to fit, fulfill. Um, and the more we donate in bedding, and that is twin-sized sheet sets and comforters, blankets, pillows, and all that good stuff, the less they have to spend of what has been donated on that part, and they can spend it on the wood and stuff to build the beds, okay? So that is what it's all about. Each bed costs about $250 total 
from the wood to the mattress to the bedding. So if we can donate the bedding, that allows them more money to buy more mattresses and more wood. All right. Now I've got my cash app, Venmo, PayPal, and Zelle on screen. You should be able to scan directly from on screen. If you cannot, just let me know. I'm happy to send you the details. I am on all of those. I want to thank Chris Michaels, donated, gave me some cash while I was at the fairgrounds uh, yesterday. Mama Cone and I are going to do some shopping. I found some great deals at Boss Cobb, some on clearance. I got some quilt sets. I think I got four or five of them, half price, which is great. I think there's some sheet sets on sale there as well. So I'm going to go back and grab some of them. So even $5, when you give me $5, I just need two of you to give me $5. I can buy a sheet set and, um, you know, two or three of you can, uh, help get me a comforter. And then I'm going to go back and get some pillows. And of course I always top up from my own money <laughs> from, because that is what we're here for. And I want to make sure we're able to give those kids a comfortable place to sleep each night. All right, let's get this show started and then uh, we'll move right along. Thank you to our show sponsor, We Help You Move. Whether you're moving across the street or somewhere around the country, Nicholas and his team of moving experts make the moving process easier. We Help You Move is veteran-owned and a great supporter of this community. WeHelpYouMove.com. All right, let's get going. Chris Michaels is here. Let's get that started. Well, good morning. You know what? Let, let me say this. Let me start off by saying, at the start of this, my picture should have been removed and Bob's picture should have been there. So we have two of Bob because it's Bob Day. It is Bob Day. I know. I should I should be wearing like the Bob. I should hold up that little lollipop stick with his face on it. I should have gotten that taken care of today. Well, what I should have done is we actually have a, uh, a coffee cup here with Bob's picture on it. And I'm proud to say I drink out of Bob every morning. So um, there you go. You could drink out of Bob too. Oh, wait. He slipped me one of these when I was at the fair. Of course he did. <laughs> well, there you go. So, so you I know, do. We'll I've got the rise and shine with Bob Miller. So well, there you go. But you're not on this. What happened? Well, that was that was before I me. Mean, Bob's been in this with this company for sixty years now, so I was probably <laughs> I probably wasn't even born when that was made. You know, uh, Bob started in nineteen thirty six with this station, so of know. course no. he did. And it is Bob Miller Day, and there's a big uh, celebration happening at the fairgrounds today. So let's first tell everybody what is happening. What's the plan? So what we got going on is again, uh, you know, I always joke around with Bob uh, and break his balls on air, but. Uh, today is Bob Day. We're celebrating. Bob has been with WFMD for 30 years, Danny. Now, you're a radio person like myself. You know, in radio, you'll have salespeople that's been around for 30 years, news people. But for on-air personalities like us, never happens. Of. It is unheard of. 30 years, he's been the voice of Frederick County, the morning mayor. So we're going to be live on air from uh, 10 to noon. Uh, celebrating Bob Day, Bob Miller Day. We got some special guests that are coming. Um, I, just in case Bob's watching now, I'm not going to say because it's a surprise. Yeah. We got some great surprises, including the what we dub the Queen of Frederick County, Danny Gurry, who's going to be stopping by. I will uh, be know. there as soon as the stream is over. I'm hopping in the car and I'm heading straight over to the fairgrounds. Now, where is everything happening today? Do you know? So it's Yep, it's going to be over at the grandstand. Um, it's going to be kind of up where the people sit under a roof in case it rains. It's okay. either section four or section four, but you'll see us up there. You'll see the radio equipment. You'll hear my nice. loud 
obnoxious voice. So just follow my voice. Well, uh, I am to- bringing my equipment as well. I intend to get a one-on-one uh, with Bob while we're there today, some point. Wonderful. And uh, yeah. I need to get you, I need to do an interview with you as well. So we're going to try to grab some of that today. Yeah, we'll do that. But again, uh, we're focusing on Bob today. So I'm, and you've known Bob Danny for a long time. Okay. Yes, I have. Uh, even longer, much longer than I have. So, um, you know, how wonderful of a person he is, and I'm thankful to him to for helping me in this in this format. Talk radio is not something I was used to, as you well know. Yeah. But he taught me, taught me, and and um, I'm thankful for him. So we're looking forward yeah. to that from 10 to noon today. So come on awesome. down. The public's invited. Yes. Well, we invite everybody to come join us at the Frederick Fairgrounds today to celebrate Bob Miller. It is a huge accomplishment to stay on a station for 30 years. Amazing. Um, and uh, we're so proud to call him a friend and uh, be able to listen to him each morning. So uh, anyway, with that being said, man, well, I hate to get to uh, talking about the division of the solid waste after talking about Bob Miller Day, but I have no choice. I'm going to lead off with this story today. I'm sorry, Bob, but uh, there is a new director of the Frederick County Division of Solid Waste and Recycling. His name is Lee Zimmerman. Uh, he was appointed to the post by uh, County Executive Jessica Fitzwater. The appointment was confirmed on Tuesday by the County Council. Zimmerman served as a deputy director of the division from June 2022 until uh, June of 2024. Uh, Wow, exactly two years. When he took over as acting director following the retirement of Phil Harris. Now, real quickly, for the uh, those who aren't from New York, the people who work for the uh, sanitation department, the garbage collectors in New York City, they they bank. They make a ridiculous amount of money up there, and not to mention the uh, pensions they get when they retire. So, yeah. Uh, A stiff sentence was handed down on Tuesday to a Frederick man for setting his ex-girlfriend's house on fire. That's a no-no. The state attorney's office says Brian Orton uh, Bowie, 49, was sentenced to 30 years in prison for first-degree arson. That's a stiff sentence. He was also, which is good, he was also given a uh, concurrent life sentence for violating his probation. Prosecutors say the arson was a violation of Bowie's... uh, Probation related to first degree murder conviction in 1992. Can you believe that? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, one more news story. The uh, Frederick County Sheriff's Office says the individual who entered Urbana High School on Tuesday has been located. He was taken into uh, a local hospital for an evaluation and is expected to face criminal charges uh, at around 11 a.m. The suspect entered Urbana High School through an exterior door. A school staff member uh, saw him and escorted him out of the building as he was closing the door. The school employee was assaulted by the suspect. He then left school campus. Now, you want to talk about scary. Anybody who's going to insult, assault an innocent person in the, in a school system where your kids could be, that is scary. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't know that, how he would have gotten in through an exterior door unless somebody opened it for him. That's weird. Yeah, or... Or sometimes with these doors, too, when you close them and you don't actually slam them shut, a lot of no. times they stay open. There might be some kind of spring yeah. or something. I don't, don't know if that's the case in this in this story, but that's, a lot of times that's what could happen. But uh, luckily he was uh, found. Uh, take a look at weather uh, on Bob Day. Danny, it's rain. It's rain. Showers early, then cloudy in the afternoon, high of 74. Tonight, cloudy with showers, low of 63. But again, today, if you come on out, uh, to the grandstand will be under a covered area. So it's always sunny it. on Bob day. Always there, sunny. <laughs> there you go. I love it. You are correct. And then taking a look at tomorrow showers in the morning, then cloudy in the afternoon, high around 80. And then tomorrow night, uh, low 58, partly cloudy sky. So kind of looking at the weather for tomorrow. If you want to enjoy the fair, you might want to go a little later on, maybe in the afternoon. It looks like most of the rain will be early. I hate the fact that it's, you know, what drives me crazy, Danny, is we had a drought for so long here in Frederick. Now all of a sudden, fair weeks here, bada bing, bada boom. The good I Lord know. Says, Let it rain upon Frederick. I know. It, it's so disappointing. And I know for the fair as well. I was at the, uh, the governor's luncheon yesterday. Not The governor wasn't actually there. A lot of the board members from the fair and some dignitaries from Frederick, but, um, you know, they were having a tremendous record breaking week, you know, with Friday and even Saturday and Sunday being so nice. And now 
I don't know. I, it's sad, but you know, we hey. We still have fun. We still yeah. have fun. Yes. So I got to roll out of here, Danny, because like a little kid, I'm going to the fair. Yay. Well, you have a great time today. I'll see you this morning as soon as we're done. Yeah. And um, yeah, I think this is great. It's going to be a fun morning. Have a great show, my friend. I'll see you later on. All right. See ya. All right. want to thank Chris for joining us today on Bob Day. We love that so much. 30 years on the air on one station is a virtual. Uh, that is unbelievable. It is absolutely unbelievable. All right. Let's talk about some giveaways that we've got for you. Oh, I'd love to give you these $5 gift cards to the station it is the new coffee shop at the corner of 7th and Bent Streets. You want to try their coffee? You can do it for free with the $5 gift card. I'd love to give you some free coffee. we got 10 of them to give away. So go ahead and text STATION to 888-465-2944. That's 888-465-2944. I'd love to give that to you right now. Also got those Maryland lottery scratch offs. Each scratch off has the potential for you to win a thousand dollars. You can text to win those every Friday. We give a winner Maryland lottery scratch offs. And then of course we've got that tree trekkers three hour adventure ticket, which is good through June of 2025. 888-465-2944 is the number you can text. You're going to want to text those highlighted words or anything at all. You can just text, good morning, Danny. Have a wonderful day. And I would text you back. I will and the same to you. All right. We're going to take a quick break. Then we're back with Gary Bennett to talk about canines on the creek. We're also going to hear from Edwin and Nicole about uh, Edwin's need for a kidney. And all of that is coming up just after this. Real estate Oh, yes. Love that. And don't forget to use that code GMF if you go to Tree Trekkers for Trek or Treat. We are one of the sponsors of that event. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to talk more about that as we near October and those fun dates. Now let's talk about what is happening right now in Frederick. Uh, Yes, this portion of Happening in Frederick is sponsored by Intense Barbecue. They are a family-owned barbecue food truck and a catering company. They cook in small batches to ensure the food is as fresh as it can be. You can find them at IntenseBarbecue.com. That's I-N, the number one, the number zero. S-E, barbecue, B-B-Q.com. You can satisfy your meat tooth when you find them there. And if you've got an event coming up, maybe a company party, maybe a holiday party, you're getting ready for the holidays and planning that, reach out to Rob and Robin at Intense Barbecue now because not only do they do some really cool barbecue, they can do a whole barbecue nacho kind of setup, which is amazing. Everybody can put whatever the toppings that they want on there, which is a very cool idea. 
but they also do things not related to barbecue, like filet mignon and seafood, and they do uh, um, crab imperial. I mean, amazing. So they do it all, intensebarbecue.com. All right, when you need to know, uh, when you need to know what is happening in Frederick, you got to go to the best calendar that is around, and that is the Everything Frederick calendar. And you can find it at promocircus.com. You're going to click on Everything Frederick Live, and the drop down right there is the calendar of events. Now, when you get to the calendar of events, it's a little overwhelming to see all of the events happening each day. You can see in general, we got 40 or more events every single day. If you click on the agenda view, however, you're going to see an hour by hour start, whatever the start time is for each one of those events, you're going to see it in order on the calendar, which makes great. It's so easy. If you've got someone coming in from out of town, even for just a few hours, you can at least see all the events that are starting within the time that they're here. Or maybe you want somebody to go out and entertain themselves while you're at work. Well, you can fill their entire day, I'm telling you, uh, with some of the great stuff happening. For instance, these three uh, events here uh, that you can see are installations at the Delaplane Arts Center. Um, so you can see we've got this Contemporary Innovations. We've got the Jim Roberts uh, Gallery Display. We've got, I think it's, is it Michelle uh, Demanche, I guess, the Yellow King, also um, on display at the Della Plain. And we've got the Studio Art Quilters Associates, which are currently on display as well. If you haven't been to the Della Plain Arts Center, let me just tell you, it is great. They have several little galleries. They do a lot of instruction there as well. Great place to check out if you love some of the art here in Frederick. All right, today is Wednesday. Today you can head over to Crestwood Middle School if your kids love basketball and they want to attend a skills session. They can do that with the Flying Cows 5 to 6 p.m. tonight or 6 to 7 p.m. tonight at Crestwood Middle School. There is a link in that calendar uh, event so that you can register or you can just reach out, go to goflyingcows.com for more information about that. Um, I have on the calendar that tomorrow is the FCPS midterm, which means they get out two hours early tomorrow. So, uh, just a reminder there that your kids will be home earlier than normal. Um, the fair will be open again tomorrow. We've only got a few days left. You've got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. That is it for the Frederick Fair this year, the 162nd Frederick Fair. Um, and there's a lot of fun still to be had if you haven't been to the fair yet. How about free Pilates on the Creek? Well, tomorrow morning, I'm not sure. Chris said the weather might move out later in the day. So you'll have to check and see whether that is happening. I certainly hope that the weather clears in time for Alive at Five. It is one of the last. We have three more. We have this, this Thursday, the 26th, and then the 3rd. It wraps up the season for Alive at Five. So if you haven't been this year yet, you're going to want to put it on the calendar and make sure you get out there uh, there is also tomorrow the Frederick County public meeting about the data center is happening at the Frederick County um, building, which is on Himes Avenue. It starts at six o'clock. That is the zoning meeting to talk about the data centers that are proposed to move to Frederick. So if you have an interest in uh, hearing the sides of that, or you have an opinion that you'd like to express, that is happening uh, tomorrow at 6 p.m. at the Frederick County Building on Himes Avenue. On Friday, uh, we have the Kids Consignment Sale, FCPOM. Again, I did not update that. I meant to. Um, the VIP entry is just from 6.30 to 7. That is the VIP entry. I need to take off the VIP entry. The regular general shopping, 7 to 9 p.m., in Walkersville at the Walkersville Carnival Ground. There's um, 
children's clothing and toys, great gift ideas as well. That is happening this week. On the 21st, you've got the Love for Lachlan Hockey Championship Gala. Okay, that is happening at the Attaboy Barrel House. If you've ever wanted to support a local organization, a nonprofit, and not get all dressed up fancy, but do what you would typically do on a Saturday night, which might be have a couple of drinks, enjoy some good barbecue from Mission Barbecue, and in the end, you are helping out a local organization. Well, this event is for you, 6 to 9 p.m., it is 21 and up only, and uh, there's going to be a lot of fun stuff. You're going to be able to have a hockey shootout with the women's Hood College women's ice hockey team. Uh, members of the team will be there to do a shootout with you. There will also be an opportunity for you to win the Stanley Cup if you donate the most throughout the evening. As the evening goes, the person who's donated the most holds the cup, and the one who is the last holding the Stanley Cup wins it. That's going to be a lot of fun. That is on Saturday, 6 to 9 p.m. Uh, at Attaboy uh, Barrel House, which is an awesome, awesome place to go if you've not been there. And then Sunday, of course, a game day at Benstown. Game day at Benstown is a great place to watch the NFL they have 13 TVs. Uh, if you want to start with brunch, start with brunch. They have some live music during brunch. Then the live music finishes. The NFL starts, and you can watch the game. I'll tell you the best deals are the $15 domestic bucket. You get five beers. You can mix and match for $15. And the wings are unbelievable. So good. You will like them. You get half dozen for $10. Or you can get that slider plate to share uh, with your friends. If you're going with a large group, you're going to love that there too. Um, let's see. All right. So those are the events coming up through Monday. I want you to mark your calendar for uh, September, January. September 28th, the Festival of Flight at the Frederick Airport. That is going to be a great event. It starts at 9 a.m., goes to 4 p.m., there will be a remote control aircraft demonstration from 10 to 1045. And then Trooper 3, which is the helicopter, the Maryland State Police helicopter, Trooper 3 will do a demo from 1 to 145. There'll be a bunch of static aircraft displays as well. Lots of fun and very interactive. If you've not been out to the Frederick Airport um, or taking your kids, maybe your kids enjoy that. I'm going to be taking my dad uh, Bunky Paul will be heading over to, he loves that sort of stuff. So I'm going to take him over there on Saturday, the 28th in the morning. Uh, we'll check that out and then mark your calendar. November, uh, October 5th is the key city foundation, Oktoberfest 5k and November 2nd is second chances road rally, which is a visual scavenger hunt. Tons of fun for the kids. You're in the car for most of it. You're driving around Frederick County looking for uh, reading clues and trying to figure out the answers. A lot of fun. If you've never done that with your family, I implore you, this will be the year to do it. Plus, you're helping an amazing organization in Second Chances Garage. All right. If you have an event you want included on the calendar, email it to me, everythingfredericlive at gmail.com, or you can text me or email me, whatever you want to do, message me through social media as well. All right, let's see who is doing good in our neighborhood. Doing good in the neighborhood is sponsored by the healing storm. Shannon and her team strive to create an environment where you're seen, heard, and valued. If you've got pain and you haven't been able to find a way to relieve it, or maybe you're really stressed, reach out to Shannon at The Healing Storm. They've got massage therapy, Reiki, lymphatic massage, and they have a whole healing journey program. Go to thehealingstorm.com for details, and you can schedule an appointment right online. The Healing Storm, a place to unwind and recharge through alternative healing. 
All right, Gary Bennett was in Ocean City with his wife. When he saw an event, he said he had to bring back to Frederick. Get your doggies ready. It's canines on the creek, and it's coming up very soon. Here's Gary Bennett back with Gary Bennett. He might look Hi. familiar because he is on the board of advocates for homeless families. However, mm. we are here right now to talk about something else you got. Do you, are you retired? I am retired. So is this the two, are these the two organizations that you spend most of your time on? Uh, mostly. I'm also a board member or no, a council member for um, the Affordable Housing Council. And that's an appointed position here in Frederick. Very Nice. Yeah, it keeps yeah, him busy. Very involved. I like it. Well, I we like that very much. But today we're talking about the FSK Lions Club. And it's interesting because um, I used to play baseball back in the day for the mm. Lions Club in Yellow Springs, oh. but it no longer exists. Oh, but, okay. So why don't we first educate people about what the Lions Club is? Sure. So the Lions Club uh, has been around for 100 years now. Um, it's, that's about when I was a kid playing that's baseball. That's right, yeah. So, uh, so it's part of Lions Club International, and you probably know if you're watching this that there are just thousands and thousands of Lions Clubs all over the world. Almost every town of any size has one. Frederick has three, but Frederick County has a total of 11. Holy cow! I mean, there's one in Brunswick, there's one in Walkersville, Middletown, Myersville, Emmitsburg, Thermont. There's one just about in every town around. And we're a service organization, so our sole um, reason for existence is to do good things in the community, and that's what we try to do. Wow, okay. Yeah. So do you focus on anything in particular with what you're giving back to, or organizations just reach out and say, hey, we need some help? Well, Lions Clubs, uh, I guess, are mostly known for helping the blind. Right. That was one of the I reasons. I remember you used to donate yeah. your glasses to the yeah. Lions Club. We still do. We have collection boxes all over the county, and we do collect uh, used eyeglasses. So if you have eyeglasses you don't use anymore, please take them to um, your local Walmart or just about any eye doctor has a box there for the Lions Club. We'll take them. We'll refurbish them. Uh, we'll clean them up and we'll send them, we don't refurbish them, I'm sorry. We send them to a place that will refurbish yeah. them. And then we arrange to send them to people in need who need eyeglasses. Oh, that's So that's great. one thing we do, but every Lions Club decides uh, what they want to do in the community. Mm -hmm. So for us, our Lions Club is the FSK Lions Club, Francis Scott Key Lions Club. And we decided we wanted to do things like uh, Canines on the Creek, a dog-oriented mm -hmm. event for the whole community. We also do medical equipment lending for people in need. Okay. So medical equipment is very expensive, as you know. So yeah. Yeah. We lend it like quite like a library. Ah. Uh, we take donations and we lend them out to people. But we sponsor little league teams. We, yes, uh, you do. We go to the food bank and uh, we go to the community table and serve dinner many times a year. Uh, donate food to the food bank. Those are some of the major things we do. So how many members do you guys have? Well, just your, your club? Just the FSK club. We're small. We have about 20 members. Okay. But, but most clubs are small. Yeah. Anywhere from 20 to 50 members. Okay. And if uh, do you have a location or where do you meet and do things like that if somebody's interested mm -hmm. in maybe joining? Yeah, we meet at the Elks Club on Willowdale Drive okay. uh, the second and fourth Tuesday of every month. It's at 6 p.m. We have dinner first, then we meet. Uh, you can go to our website, fsklines.org, if you'd like to come. We'd love to have you. Uh, just uh, look for the link to the membership director, uh, email that person, and they'll arrange for you to come and have free dinner oh. and, and listen to one of our meetings. Well, that's worth the free dinner, better than a timeshare or something <laughs> like right. that. All right, so you guys have this event coming up, Canines on the Creek. I've definitely heard of it. Yep. It is Saturday, October 26th, mm -hmm. right on Carroll Creek. So tell me, first of all, how did this event come about? Well, uh, to tell you the truth, uh, we were in Ocean City, my wife and I, uh, many, many years ago, and it was around Halloween, and we saw a doggy parade on the boardwalk. And I thought, boy, wouldn't this make a great fundraiser, especially since we care about blind people, and we, uh, we help sponsor an organization called Leader Dogs for the Blind. Okay. Also known as Seeing Eye Dogs. You may know them as Seeing Eye Dogs. Yeah. But, but we help uh, raise, train. We don't do it ourselves, but we provide money to the organization that raises and trains Leader Dogs and provides them to blind people. So I thought, it's just a perfect tie-in. Why don't we bring this to Frederick? see if we can do a doggy parade on Carroll Creek. It's almost as good as the Ocean City yeah. Boardwalk. And uh, get, get the owners of the dogs to pay to participate, get sponsors, get exhibitors, and make it a, just a fun day. And that's what's happened. This is our fifth one now, and it's become a really good fundraiser for us and, and for Leader Dogs for the Blind. 
and it's just a lot of loads of fun. If you haven't been there yet, I highly recommend it. Yes. Okay. So right down at the amphitheater area, Carroll Creek, two to five p.m. It's twenty-five dollars to enter your dog. Mm -hmm. You're going to want to put them in costume, and then yep. you guys parade around Carroll Creek. We parade around Carroll Creek uh, as far as we need to. Last year we had <laughs> 80 dogs. So oh, we, wow. Yeah, so we went from Marcus Street down to Carroll Avenue, I believe it is, uh, back and forth on both sides of the creek. So it was a nice parade. That's and really if you fun. want to be a spectator, that's free. Yeah. Uh, you can sit in the amphitheater or you can sit anywhere along Carroll Creek and see the dogs pass by you. It's loads of fun. And, yeah. Um, we have some special judges this year. We do give out prizes. It is a costume contest. Oh, very nice. But, you know, our prizes aren't life-changing, yeah. so we make sure that everybody <laughs> understands that. They're not fighting for the prizes. But we have judges, and this year we're proud to say that we have the Chief of Police here in Frederick, uh, Mr. J uh, Jason Lando, Lando, will be yeah. one of the judges. Uh, the director of our animal control, uh, David Luckenbaugh, will be a judge. And then one of our line executives, Martin Benura, will be a judge. We'll be our three judges. Oh, good. So if you're upset at anyone, those are the three, not Gary. Don't be upset at Gary yes. if you don't win. <laughs> when she, with Chief of Police Lando here, we don't expect any That's trouble. Right. No trouble. No trouble at all. <laughs> all right. So register your dog. You can go to fsklions.org slash canines. Yeah. Register your pup, get them dressed up, support the Lions Club who support Leader Dogs for the Blind. That's where the proceeds will go. It's October 26th at Carroll Creek Linear Park at the amphitheater, 2 to 5 p.m. I'm going to come down. We're going to make sure this gets some coverage uh, so that we can have even bigger and better. We want to beat the 80 dogs That's right. that you I, had last year. I think we can do that. I think we can do it. You guys yeah. think we can get 100 dogs? I think we <laughs> might be able to. So we're going to reach out to some organizations and make sure they know that this is happening. FSK Lions Club, Gary Bennett, we want to thank you for all the countless volunteer hours and being so involved. It really does make this community uh, better. Well, thank you, Danny. I appreciate that very much. It just keeps me busy, and uh, it's what all, I think it's what all recent retirees should do, as long as you can. Yeah, try, absolutely. Try to give back as much as you can. Absolutely. All right, we thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Oh, yes. want to thank Gary Bennett for that. I am, I've got a goal. Uh, I'd love to get them to 100 dogs. That's just 20 more than they had last year. And I would love for a majority of those 20 to come from the Frederick County Animal Control, borrow a dog for a day. I'm going to talk with Bethany and Sean to see if they have 20 dogs that are great with other dogs that'll put a costume on. And if I can get 20 volunteers to borrow the dog from two to five and come down to Carroll Creek and help canines on the creek. Everybody wins. The dogs get out of the shelter for the day. I will buy all the pup cups. If you pay your $20, $25 to enter your uh, the shelter borrowed dog for the day, I'll buy pup cups. I'll get them some treats. We will do a whole photo session. We'll have a video. I'll cover it for the show. I think that is an awesome way to check a bunch of boxes here in Frederick. I think we can do it. How about you? Yeah? You think so? All right. We're going to take a quick break. Then we're back with Edwin and Nicole. We're going to talk about Edwin's story and his journey in needing a new kidney. And he is asking for your help to spread the word. That is coming up right after this. Dream Free Art, Frederick's first and only splatter room. New location, new beginner-friendly artful shenanigans for all ages. Come fling paint and make a masterpiece in Dream Free Art splatter room or join us for a fun and unique art experience. Book your next birthday party, corporate event, date night, or family outing at dreamfreeart.com to unleash your inner artist today. Dream Free Art, free your creativity. Cosmec Healing handcrafted small batch tinctures and transdermal salves, double third party tested for quality you can trust. If you've got pain, headaches, or anxiety, our products are here to help you find relief. Patient over profits mindset, because we're patients too. Cosmechealing.com.
Yes. Uh, if you've got any pain, you got to talk to them. All right. ANS Construction, a local and award winning woman and minority owned business. They are right here in Frederick. You've probably seen Sandra in that pickup truck branded with ANS Construction. They specialize in roofing and siding and windows, patios, and decks. They will also take care of your gutters. Now, no shade on those national chains that do the gutter things for you. I will say this, ANS Construction, A, they're local. B, it was affordable. C, they came out and fixed our gutters within a week. So we uh, had a clogged gutter. It is was on the second story. My husband was like, oh, do you think somebody's got a ladder I can borrow? And I'm like, uh, no, we're not going that route. We're going to call Sandra at ANS Construction and have them come over and take care of it because, you know, not only borrowing the ladder, but the potential in the falling and not doing what needs to happen. So they came out. They did see that the gutters were clogged. They fixed the clog. They installed this mesh on all of our gutters. Simple, easy, done, and uh, affordable. So contact ANS Construction at ansconstruction.net, or you can call them 301-703-2157. When you give her a call, no matter the work that you need, just let her know you saw her on Good Morning Frederick. And if you're going to do any roof or siding replacement, you're going to get $750 off of that job. Or you can get $50 off any roof repairs when you let Sandra know you saw her on Good Morning Frederick, which is excellent. Love it. This portion of Good Morning Frederick is powered by Ken's Automotive and Transmissions. Total car care. Need an oil change or brakes? Ken's Automotive and Transmissions can take care of that. How about exhaust or engine work? Ken's Automotive and Transmissions can do that too. No matter what you need for your car, Ken's Automotive and Transmissions is total car care. Go to kenstrans.com to schedule an appointment today. Ah, yes. We love Ken's Automotive and Transmissions. I'll have to tell you all about Just picked up my Nissan Murano. Actually, it was my son's. They fixed it up. Rides perfectly. Edwin has been in Frederick for more than 30 years. He's raised his kids here. Five years ago, he wasn't feeling too well, went to the doctors and got a life-changing diagnosis. He and his daughter, Nicole, are here to tell their story and to ask for your help. Here is Edwin and Nicole. We're at the home of everything, Frederick, 401 North Market Street. I am with Nicole and her father, Edwin. Welcome. I know this is not under the greatest of circumstance that we are... <laughs> visiting but hopefully we can at least help to raise some awareness tell us a little bit why you reached out to me okay um so i reached out to you because i had previously been uh posting on you know everything frederick on instagram to kind of raise awareness at uh, the situation that we have you mm -hmm. know currently going on which is uh, my dad is currently suffering from ESRD, which mm -hmm. is end stage renal disease, which is a type of kidney failure. Yeah. So I've unfortunately cannot help him myself yeah. due to medical reasons, um, but have been trying to find a live donor to be able to assist him. Yeah, and you guys were just telling me the reason is this is a genetic failure of kidney, his parents, also your grandparents yeah. passed from this exactly yeah so unfortunately i am not in yeah, the place to, to help my kid yeah, yeah yeah five years ago you were feeling okay yeah five years ago i was uh, playing soccer coaching my daughter coaching uh, other kids and soccer teams mm -hmm. um when then suddenly i started getting weak feeling bad, and I, I, and I have uh, periodic uh, checkups with the doctor. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, I have high pressure, I have diabetes, uh, and I've been dealing with it. But five years ago, I got diagnosed with the kidney failure, mm -hmm. and I, the only option I can keep alive is doing the treatment or having a transplant right. for a kidney. 
So, so your your job, you manage uh, other people who clean offices and things like that, churches and synagogues. Yeah. So I have been working with this company for 34 years. That was my first job really coming to this country. So I started growing with them. I started doing um, some uh, supervisory job for mm -hmm. some people. And then throughout the years, I start growing. The company grows and I start growing. At the beginning, it was maybe only the owner and myself overseeing the crews. But then now the company grow yeah. and we have um, several thousand people working for us now. Wow. So I, uh, I oversee some crews. We do the janitorial service. Yeah. And we do um, some maintenance, mm -hmm. also little repairs. We do some painting, yeah. all kind of handyman stuff. Yeah. So I was doing all this work, but then suddenly my life uh, changed. Yeah. Um, they said to me either you know, we have somebody to donate a kidney, mm -hmm. and on between you have to do the dialysis. Yes. Uh, at the beginning, I start doing dialysis at home. Um, three or four days a week, and my wife was my nurse. Yeah. At the beginning, when I met her, it was all nice and good. We are, how long? 30 years with her also. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so it was, um, when I met her, she couldn't see blood. But then when we get diagnosed with this disease, and they told me it's a good, it's a good option to start doing dialysis at home, Yeah and uh, she can be my nurse. Mm. But I said, she cannot yeah. see blood, <laughs> yeah. she's gonna do. But you know, we are, we are Christians, we, yeah. we believe in God. And she gets strong enough to manage the treatment, it's hard, you see blood all the time. Sometimes you can punch her, and she will punch me and to make this uh, treatment. Yeah. So, and then I was surprised, um, Thank God that she could handle, she could handle the, the blood, yeah. seeing the blood. Before she can even think about it. Yeah. She, can, she cannot see in the movies. Yes, I know. And now yeah. she's dressed like a nurse, punching <laughs> me. Yeah. And sometimes I won't see uh, uh, any reaction on her. She just do it. Yeah. She will learn. And for a month or so, when we started, we had to do this in the, in the clinic mm -hmm. for her to learn. Right, okay. So when she was getting trained by the nurse in the center, I said, oh, this is nothing <laughs> she can gonna learn because, you know, from the set of the machine to get the needles on my body, mm. to see the blood going to the machine and coming out again to my body, to my body, and I said, oh, she, I don't think she's <laughs> gonna be able to do it. But after a month, month and a half that we were training, then she was an expert. Yeah. Then she started reading, practicing, and she was my nurse. Yeah. So four years passed. She was doing up and down. We were accumulating. I continued working 40 hours plus because I can manage to do um, a schedule. You know, yeah. I, I schedule the treatment whenever I can do it, and it was okay, sorry or Sunday, whatever. So. Four years passed, and a couple of times I went to the hospital because something went wrong. And the last time I went to the hospital, she was very affected. Yeah. Uh, emotionally, she couldn't handle. Well, it's difficult seeing somebody you love and you've been with for so long, you know, and. I don't know, as a wife, you'd feel like, oh, maybe I should have done something differently or I wish I could help more. Oh, yeah, maybe you know. she did something wrong, that's why yeah. I am in the hospital. So it was too much. Yeah. So I decided to go to the center. Yeah. And in the center, uh, I have to go now three times a week, uh, 5 30 in the morning to um, 9, 9 30. And then I need uh, a couple hours to recuperate, and, yeah. and then I continue my my labor. And so it's been it's been difficult. Yeah. When people look at me, they say, "Hey, you look good. You look yeah. normal. You're losing weight." 
I say, yeah, but the days I do the treatment is when I feel very, very weak. Yeah. I cannot even walk. I cannot think. Yeah. Um, but they they pass by and I'm normal. Yeah. <clears throat> so um, at my job, they didn't know I was sick until a year, a year ago. Yeah. So my. Uh, <clears throat> my employer is very supportive. I able to manage my schedule, so I continue. So I try to live a, a normal life. I try to. I even go to a gym sometimes because the doctor said. You gotta move. Yeah. Uh, I know you're weak, but you need to go, do something, walk, mm. swing, do whatever you can to keep moving. Because if you don't move, it'll be worse. I start learning, getting more on people who have been donating, on people who get donations. They they got their life back. Mm. I'm looking for for somebody to. Donate. I'm yeah. trying to pass yeah. the word around. Uh, I'm very sorry for my uh, uh, emotion, but it's a life changing thing. Of course. I do think it's important for people to understand that you can live with one kidney, you can have a great life. We're going to follow your story and not let people forget because you've been a part of this community for a long time. You've given so much to the company that you work for and I'm sure the employees there, which I know that's why that's making you emotional because yeah. when they give back to you, I'm sure that that is um, overwhelming. It's overwhelming, but yeah. we want to help and find somebody who's out there who hears the story. And I know that we talked about this. There are some things where if you're not a match to Edwin, there might be somebody you are a match to, and then that person can find somebody that potentially is a match to you. Yeah. So there are ways to kind of help just by spreading it's the a, word. It's a donor swap, yeah. Donor swap, yeah. yeah. So someone would donate in his name, and uh, the next potential kidney would go to him right. as that person is helping someone else. Right. So it's kind of like a domino effect in yeah, a way. Yeah, but a, he gets moved up the list, yes. right? He gets he moved has up. acquired yes. a donor um, for someone, yes. so it actually... It, it, it increases his chance. So we need to spread the word. We yeah. need to find it. So what do people need to do to find out if they are a match? So um, my father, he's A positive. So that is a certain type of blood type that yeah. the person has to be in order to qualify to be an exact right. match. So first you have to be a positive yes. if, people. So if that you eliminates want to be, a lot of people, Yeah, if you can be <laughs> an exact match. But yeah. there is a universal blood type, which is O positive. That's me. Yeah, so if you are O positive, you can also be eligible to donate. Oh, so he can receive O positive too. Yes, okay. universal. But okay. usually... Uh, the higher chance it's of the A, a positive. You want the A positive first, yes. first and foremost. Yes. You go onto my father's website, which is the National Kidney Registry. Um, you go onto his like his little link, mm -hmm. and it'll take you to a page that says Edwin and Dara. That's my dad, and it'll ask you some questions. Then it'll go onto another page asking you for like medical things, mm -hmm. just to make sure that the person uh, trying to qualify yeah. is healthy. It'll send you to your local like Lab Corp where you can All get right. lab done, lab yeah. work done. After that. Um, um, a national kidney registry, um, like customer service, will call you, and then they will continue on the process. As a daughter, how is this? Um, it's it's quite difficult. It is. <laughs> um, I can imagine. I, oh, I'm sorry. And don't apologize. <laughs> don't apologize. To, man, it hurts me to not. Um, <clears throat> sorry. To see him suffering mm -hmm. is, is, is quite difficult. Yeah. Because all I want to do is help him. Yeah. Um, yeah. My dad is my best friend, yeah. and uh, I want nothing more than for him to live a happy, healthy life. Yeah. 
to see me continue on with my life and to see my children. I have a son and a daughter, and I want nothing more than to see them create memories I created with my father. Yeah. That's all I want. Yeah. And for him to, to be happy and not be in pain every yeah. day. Yeah. And uh, I have uh, siblings and they have kids too. And just, I just want to see him with his grandchildren yeah. and see him grow old and, and happy with my mom. Yeah, it can only be done with your help. So it just starts with going to the website, put in your information, it's no commitment from there, but maybe you are a match and then you can make a decision from there. But this family has given a lot to our community and we would love to give back to them. And this could be the greatest gift, the gift of life for sure. So we are going to follow along. We're not going to let this go. We're going to continue to remind you. I'm going to continue to share the website and the information. Um, I know how hard this must be. I yeah, really it's, it's, it's quite difficult. Yeah. And uh, I'd love nothing more than to help him. Right. I'm using my voice to That's try right. to help someone, uh, which is my dad, to find a kidney and to raise awareness for other yeah. people who may be suffering well, as well. That's right. That's right. Maybe we can help a lot of people. Yeah. And we appreciate you. We Thank you. No, thank you for your you, help. Really, we do. I will pray for you mm -hmm. every day. Um, that Thank you, you get a kidney and some relief and I know this is a, a long and a, a arduous journey and um, I can imagine you're tired and you're ready <laughs> to feel better so yeah. hopefully we can help you do that. God willing Thank we can you. find a, a donor. Yeah. Yeah, God willing. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. All right we will see you guys next time. Thank you. Thank you. Whew. I don't even know what to say. That doesn't tug at your heartstrings. Uh, whew, I don't know what will. Uh, if you're a daughter uh, and have a dad that is um, in need, I know that will make you feel the way it's just made me feel. Just uh, watching Nicole and trying to, I don't know, wrap our arms around her and her father. And that's what we need to do as a community. So if you are at all inclined to get yourself tested, please visit that website that was on screen. And uh, again, there is no commitment once you do that. But certainly, if you have a, an opportunity to, to give something back like this, boy, whew, you will have uh, done the trifecta for sure. All right. Coming up tomorrow, we have Travel with Tabby to talk about uh, her business. We've got a look back at Dream Free Art and our friend, Tina Harper, who has that amazing, fun, interactive art studio, and Max from Rosie's Tail Training. That is all tomorrow. Please tell a friend about Good Morning Frederick. Have an amazing day. No matter the weather, it is sunny right here. Sunny and bright. Get out there. And let's be great, Frederick. Come down.